I came across a simple solution to a common network connected printer error that you may come across when you are working in Windows environment. That could be a Windows 10 machine or Windows 11 machine. So what I found is that if you go to the start menu and if you go to the printers and scanners or to, you go there to the settings uh, app, uh, settings section, Bluetooth devices, printers and scanners, you have this option to add a device on your Windows 11 machine. Windows 10 has the same option which I show you later. Uh, so what we typically would do is we'll click add a device and then it will populate the printer name and sometimes it populate here and we go through the setup process or you can go add manually here and you can select the way that you want to add like for example add a printer using an IP address or host name uh, is a very common method that we add printers in large scale business enterprise environment and we go next and we'll pick something like TCP IP device and we start entering information and add the printer. So once the printer get added and listed here, the user or the client may get an error message saying um, the printer uh, it cannot print uh, uh, because it won't, uh, you know, it, the printer is connected but it cannot print or you will end up with a situation where it doesn't give you any error messages but every print request goes into the printer spool and it just remain in the uh, uh, in the uh, printer uh, you know pending uh, items as to be printed so it's not getting printed it still gets stuck in there so to fix this what you need to do is to go to the print server properties on windows 11 machine that would be this option so on the same section under settings bluetooth devices printers and scanners under print server properties if you click that, select the tab called ports. Under ports, you will find that printer that you have the, you know, this uh, issue. So you added the printer, it listed here. And what you need to do with here, in here, is to delete that port. So I'm not going to delete this port, but you can uh, select whatever the printer, like in this case, let's say I want to de delete this uh, Microsoft print to PDF. I click delete port and it'll give you a message saying, hey, are you, you know, you're about to delete this port and you're going to say click OK and you can delete that port. And if there are other uh, ports listed with the same printer name or print some pr printer configurations, and in other words, it has the same printer name, or the uh, you know uh, uh, for example uh, the the print um, network location name so you have three or four uh, ports listed here with the same printer name and printer location name delete all of them but uh, sometimes because this because of this particular error you may not be able to delete it when you hit, hit delete port it'll get you get an error message saying printer cannot be deleted because you have a print uh, items pending or printer cannot be deleted because the printer is in use even though the printer is not working so to fix that what you need to do is to go to the start menu and type services and that will open up the services app or the other way to get to the services app is to go to the start menu, type run, open the run and type services.msc. So it's services.msc and click OK and it'll open the same services app. And in here, we need to find something called print spooler. So we need to find the service called print spooler. Now you can go through this list and go to the S and then find the print spooler or you can simply click at the top of this list and type print and it'll get you to the print spooler uh, really fast. If you double click on that print spooler, make sure that it's set up as automatic under general. And what we need to do here is to restart this print spooler. So to do that, uh, you don't need to click on any of these things unless you change accidentally something. 
uh, also you can make sure that on the logon tab uh, that the local system account has the allow services to interact with desktop because that is important as well but typically it is already turned on by default uh, just make sure that the startup type is still set up as automatic and what we need to do here is we need to cancel that window uh, after you check that right click and select restart and it will go ahead and restart your print spooler and now if you go back to your settings uh, section uh, of the uh, you know printer and scanner section of the settings and if you go to the print server properties again you will be able to delete the ports that you would like to delete and then you can start re-adding them uh, from here and if you are using a windows 10 machine again the same thing you can just start services in here uh, on the start menu on the windows 10 machine and open up that services menu or you can use the uh, the run method so you can go the run oh uh, don't open that you can go run huh. oh just go windows r it'll open up when you run uh, and then in here you can go services.msc and that will open up the same services window again you can find the print uh, spooler here and then change that information but uh, the GUI for print and scanner is slightly different here in here again you can go ahead and add the printer the same way similar to the Windows 10 machine but slightly different GUI but on the right hand side instead of on the bottom of this list where I have print server properties on Windows 10 machines on the right hand side we have the print server properties you can click on that and in here we can go to ports and do the same thing and again this is a very common error with network connected printers you added the printer printer doesn't print no error messages or and you might get an error message uh, at the end of the day what happening is that all the print requests stuck in the print spooler and it's pending uh, so if, uh, and nothing happens so basically it will stuck in here and it will say pending uh, with no action happening and this is how you can fix it because no matter how many times you keep adding that printer because you are following the same procedures nothing going to change until you go to the print server properties and start deleting those duplicate ports and again if these deletions didn't work if you get an error message when you try to delete uh, not like this but an error messaging cannot be deleted because it's in use make sure to go to the services uh, options services um, application and then go find the sprint spooler right click and select restart and that's everything for today if you have any questions or concerns regarding anything i covered regard with respect to print spooler and how to analyze and troubleshoot this print uh, you know error please reach out to me until next time thank you so much and have a nice day